Johnny Cash, a famous American singer-songwriter in the 1990s, is known for his sorrow theme songs, especially songs from the later stages of his career. He was diagnosed with multiple system atrophy, a rare and aggressive movement disorder, where he passed away just six years after his diagnosis. Did you know that our brain is made up of many proteins? Either due to genetic or environmental factors, these proteins can change in shape, disrupting normal functions in the brain. Of these, protein A is linked to multiple system atrophy. Once the protein A's take on a different shape than the normal protein A's, it becomes malicious, piling up inside the brain cells. And when these cells accumulate so much of these bad protein A's, the cells can become sad, causing movement dysfunction like Johnny had. Johnny was first misdiagnosed with Parkinson's disease. This is because multiple system atrophy patients can have similar symptoms that may be mistaken as other movement disorders. So the only way to make a final diagnosis is through an examination of the brain at autopsy, where the neuropathologist confirms the presence of these bad protein A's in the brain. But recognizing the disease may just be the tip of an iceberg. Although there are two subtypes of the disease, it remains difficult to distinguish between the two because of the varying disease duration and symptoms. Therefore, I measured the size of these bad protein A's that have accumulated inside the brain cells of multiple system atrophy patients. Using artificial intelligence as a shape sorting cube, I have sorted the different sizes of these bad protein A's into different groups. Then, I will identify the distinguishing feature of each subtype. For example, if some patients have larger size and a rounder shape of the bad protein A's in the brain, they would be classified as subtype 3. And those in subtype 3 may particularly have a longer disease duration than others who are in a different subtype. So why does this matter? The different size and shapes of these bad protein A's in the brain and the distinguishing factors associated with each subtype can give us insight into how multiple system atrophy can be further subclassified. And this novel and unbiased approach using artificial intelligence can deepen our understanding of the disease adding value to the current efforts in developing tailored treatments so that people like Johnny can be treated before severe symptoms take over. Thank you.